Hiya, I'm Rhys Jones and today I want to do a video on beating addiction and the power of thought and how the power of thought can help in beating said addictions. Um, now it's probably going to be in two parts this video because it's quite a long story uh, and I'll probably post the second part tomorrow so stay tuned. Um, so yeah, let me fill you in on what's, what's been going on for the last month and how this affects this particular story or message I'm trying to convey to you all here. <clears throat> now a month ago, me and three close friends were very heavily addicted to drugs. Um, now I don't think it was a physical addiction. It was purely uh, a mental addiction. It was purely boredom and and just need. It was this kind of need and want to search for more, to find more. Because when you live in a town like Harlow, Essex, there ain't much to find. If you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we was regular skunk abusers. I mean, that was. Uh, a major pattern we got into that we got to a point where we wouldn't even be able to sleep unless we had a few joints um, and stuff. We was getting to the point where you know we'd, we'd be drinking ridiculous amounts of cider a day. You know, some days I drank seven or eight litres of cider uh, on top of skunk. Um, we got on to MDMA, we got on to coke, speed, heroin, I mean we never injected heroin but we did it a few times in speckled pill form, you know, we done, we, 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 there's no point going into, into the details of what drugs we done, but yeah, we were, we were fucking our heads up big time, big time, none of us had a job, we were spending every bit of our dull money on drugs, booze, fags, that was it. We was ticking, which means uh, borrowing off a dealer until we can pay them back, we was getting into debt. We were developing temper problems, uh, we were smashing up our houses, we were waking up feeling depressed, feeling shit, feeling suicidal. And because of this constant feeling, we was just constantly pumping more and more drugs, more and more booze to hide these feelings. You know, it's a very typical thing that people do. And alas, we was doing it as well. We all tried to stop numerous times over the last few years. Well, we, we tried to stop about four or five times if I remember rightly to varying degrees of success sometimes we'd go for maybe a week or two without doing anything sometimes we'd go for a day or two and I think at one point I even gave up skunk for two months yeah, two months didn't do it either. and I think I gave up yeah, all A class as well everything but keep in mind our main addiction was the skunk now a lot of people think skunk isn't that harmful, but in for people like us who already suffer from elements of depression before we even started doing drugs, um, you know it really wasn't a good thing to fuck around with. Um, like I said, we tried to stop loads of times, but there was an epiphany I came to a couple of weeks ago, and I was just like, this has got to stop. No, it was, it was more than a couple of weeks ago, it was more like a month ago now. And I just thought, I've got to stop. I've really, really got to stop. Because I was getting to the point where I was forgetting what I was saying mid-sentence. I'd, I'd get in, like a few words into a sentence and just be like, what was I talking about? You know, uh, it's amazing. Just My memory went to shit. My empathy, my emotion, my passion, my drive, my inspiration for writing songs, for going out and doing interesting things all went so yeah I, I put my foot down this time it wasn't any of the others that put their foot down but it was me 
I decided to finally put my foot down and say enough's enough. And that day that I decided that, I decided to go round to my dad's house, who he also lives in Harlow. He only lives about three, four minute walk away from me. Now me and my dad haven't got on that well over the last few years because of the drug shit and him not wanting me to do it. Uh, I got on better with my mum because she was a bit more understanding. She didn't encourage me to do it, she didn't want me to do it, but she was a bit more understanding because she'd been through it as well. Well, not any major addictions, but she'd been th through a few. A few problems in her life, you know. Had, had, like, used to drink quite a lot, done a bit of coke here and there. Like I said, not, not saying that she had any major, major problems, but she knew what I was on about, whereas my dad didn't. <coughs> So it was quite weird that day that me and my dad had organised to meet and we'd already organised to meet a few days previous before I decided to quit the drugs. So it was all a bit weird that that day I woke up and I thought, you know, this has got to be the day that I stopped. Went round to my dad's and I remember as I was walking round to my dad's thinking, this is fate, something is about to happen. And what happened was that he introduced me to the DVD called What the Bleep Do We Know? Uh, and Jesus Christ, I'm sure a lot of you watching this video know exactly what I'm on about. But for the people that don't, I don't want to spoil it for you. But the main message I got from the movie was you shape your own destiny, you know. Uh, you know, your thoughts create the person you are. You have ultimate control, you have the deciding vote, if you will, over your life. It's not even a vote, that's a bad way to put it, but you get what I mean. You are the creator. You are your own god. You know, there's lots of different messages you can get from it, but that was the main one I got from it. And so I watched that and blew my mind. It um, got my mind ticking over about quantum physics, metaphysical thought. You know, I've always thought like this, but I've just gone a bit off off the rails over the last few years. So I got to thinking about all this and I realised that for the last few years I'd been filling this void in my life with drugs where whereas really I should have been filling it with knowledge because that's all I was really craving for. And another thing I put my finger on after watching the DVD is that I was taking drugs to try and come to some sort of cheap nirvana, some sort of cheap enlightenment. I thought by taking drugs I could somehow defeat the boredom of this town, get away from the evilness of it and just live in true spiritual bliss in my head. Obviously realise now that that's impossible. Um, just need to quickly check how much time I've got left on the video, hang on. Okay, I've been rattling on for ages already. This is definitely going to be a two-part. Um, I'm going to finish now. This is the first part. I might even put it into three parts. Um, but yeah, tune back tomorrow and I would have definitely had uh, part two put up. And if it goes on for even longer than that, then the day after I'll do part three. But I'll make sure to get this little section of my videos done in the next few days. Okay, thanks for watching and tune back for part two tomorrow. See you later. Thank you.